First off, I want to say this is not a how-to video. This is just what I do. These are the parts I use. If you have a 2013 and up Ram diesel, these are the parts you'll need. Uh, I'll get a close up here. Part number, fuel filter, uh, paper filter, and fuel water separator. Changing the Ram Mopar fuel filter. It's a 2013 and up. I'm using it on a 2017. You can see the oval fitting on the end or the inside. Should be the same as the oval on the inside of the paper. You got this and you got the fuel water separator. I'll do that in a minute. The paper goes in. Right there inside that yellow tab to so the right of the yellow tab that yellow tab is just a, a valve actually that opens and closes to let your fuel out so you can change the paper filter you hook a hose on to the end of that yellow valve the tab I called it run it down to a catch pan mine broke off I had to put another piece of hose on luckily I have a bunch of extra let it drain, make sure that oval locks in. On the bottom it should be, those little pieces on the side should be below where your cover gonna, is gonna go on. Close your drain, your valve drain. You can pull your hose off. Make sure you lubricate the ring that goes on. Make sure you take the old ring off. Lubricate the new one, put it on, put your cap on. Then you can do the water separator. It's in the back under the bed on the right side. All right, so these are some tools you'll need or what I use. I use a, a socket that I can angle to get the paper filter off or to get the paper filter lid off. Uh, I use this to take the water separator off. And I'll show you where that was in a second. You just unclip this, put this around it, loosen it up, hook your hose to this, open that valve to drain it. Make sure you have a catch pan to catch the diesel fuel that comes out. Loosen a little more at this once you get all the fuel out, or most of the fuel out. I always put a rag under there to catch any that might spill. And you just take that all the way out. Don't forget to lube up your filters, or I'm sorry, your rings again. Make sure your old rings are off before you put those on. This is the tool to take the, the water separator off. Uh, your electronics part of it and screw it back into the, the new water separator. And just reverse everything. Connect the tab, or screw this back in, then connect the tab. Make sure everything's tightened lubed and uh don't over tighten it read your directions on the box make sure you follow those let me show you under here real quick where it goes all right see so if your drive shaft your exhaust and if you look right up around next to your fuel tank that little yellow piece there is where the filter came off of see i have a rag there a light so i can see it everything's real simple to get to easy to reach well kind of easy but that's it. Good luck. Hope this helps.